M0FXB, TRD Radio H3 and the Nickshaw firmware. Now, if you look here on the right, and I'll provide the link for you, you'll see the GitHub page for the Nick Shaw experimental firmware. And if you scroll down, it does say very clearly here, everything's beta and experimental. Do not bl blame Nick Shaw if it bricks your radio. Just remember that. The other question I have was, does the TRD Radio H3 have groups? Now, with the normal firmware, I would say no. I've used Chirp, and here's the other link that I'll provide to download the programming software. And I would say, no, it hasn't got groups, but a version of the Nick Shaw firmware did have groups that was added as as one. Now, Nick Shaw has a new Patreon page here, and I'm going to go to the home page now, and you can join it and then you know, explore that. And I've noticed there is some um, some new files on here. Click membership at the bottom here, and you can join. And it starts off from about four pound a month. And then you can start downloading uh, some of the work. I've noticed that the UV98 has got a modification there. This is how you upgrade here, upgrade the uh, your membership. Now, of course, you can download files from GitHub. We've got here TRD Radio H3 Engineering. Use the, the normal way of uploading firmware and you can try some of these bin files out. Um, the other one that's there, I would say, is the TRD Radio H8 that you're seeing just here. And if you hit where it says the green, see the green code and then go download zip and you'll see that in within that zip. And here's the H3 zip and it looks small, but then when you get into it. There is a lot there. OK, and you have to say massive thanks to Nick Shaw. Um, and if we look at the, that's the H8 code, download zip, so it's green, download zip. And again, well, we've already downloaded it, haven't we? H8, and there you are, read me, let's have a little read. If it will let me, come on, let me read it, no. Um, mod, there's mods bins and you load them in the normal way go to i mean nick shaw will have his loader okay you click here have a look see if that, i'm pretty sure that's the loader or info run anyway yes yeah this is the the firmware loader so everything's there that you need next finish yeah finish that's your loader hopefully if I go start we'll see it sometimes you've got to search around a bit I a X P. I'm just searching hmm. it's around there it is there and um, so you would select your com just here and then Turn the radio off, hold the PTT on, click start first, hold the PTT and then connect your cable, turn the radio on and it loads the firmware. So I'm not, this isn't a firmware loading. And exactly the same if we look at the, the H3 one again. H3. Uh, if you want to support um, Nick Shaw, let's click one of these. Look at this. Uh, the TRD station ones, that is... Um, like a memory program and a lot more for your PC. And that works great. And some of them, whoa, you know, you get like a, a band scope and oh, there's so much you could do and definitely groups and things. Um, let's see if I can find, uh, what's this one here? SCHPDF, let's just click it. Whoa. That's good. And see, see the work that's gone in here. And please support the Nick Shaw site. Just trying to find, there's the dock. This is the dock. So I haven't run it for ages. I'm guilty of that and I apologize. I'm going to sh see if I can just open it just so you get a feel for what it's about if you've never seen it before. Uh, I have made it, there it is there. So this effectively links to your radio 
and you can resize it if you want to make it nice and big. Just click the corner, I think, and go like that, don't you? Yeah, look at that. And when the radio is up and running, and I'll do it later, um, you've got full screen control. And the amount of work that has been put into this, it's unbelievable. You do need the right bin file, you know, the right firmware file to make this work to, so that it, it knows how to talk to this software. Uh, I'm just literally looking runtime, PDB runtime. That's the TID station. If you're stuck for loading the firmware loader, you can use the one from, if you download from the TID site, uh, which I did earlier, you'll see. Uh, here it is here, the one that's TDH3, and you do have to log into that as well. Double click and H3 programmer. Not that one you want, you want the firmware one. And within that, you've got the H3 IAP. That's your firmware loader, which is identical to the HA. And these are the, the latest bins I'm seeing here, which is ending in 317, 817, or 110. All right, so, and there's a readme there. I wonder if we can actually read this one. So if you've got a few TRD radios lying around, install so it looks like it's just instructions there to load the firmware so you've got a few of these lying around and you want to experiment and at your risk or just use the original firmware all the links will be in the description thanks massively to nick shaw and trd radio of course for producing such good radios that we can do so much with um for a very low price and they do airband really well, um, plus VHF, UHF, they even do six meters. I'm pretty sure they might even do four meters. Let me just see if it will go in. Not saying that they will be clean, but I'm just going to quickly type it into mine here. 070450. Yeah, it's gone in, but it's, it's not transmitting, but it has gone in, received. Anyway, this video is about how to find Nick Shaw. Encourage you to join Nick Shaw's patreon as well of course and uh play with those radios have fun cheers bye for now